my child love you for years upon years, used to take me for real. Time you saw what I want you to see, I still love you just like me. I got a problem, can you lay? I got a woman called Love Hey. We made a vow, we'd always be friends. How could we know what the promises end? La 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 I was in the middle of that song and I was like, I'm actually playing this semi well and I wonder if I can keep doing this. I should be recording this and I hit record and I kept going from where I was. So I apologize for an incomplete song, but I told you it was going to take a little while, but I was getting there. I'm slowly getting there. Not even why, not completely, not even why I started this video. I started this video for this guitar in my hand right here, actually, um, because I, I for the whole my last video about uh, uh about you know, wanting to start a non-profit and all that i i still i completely do and i want to do that and with, with forgotten guitars and such and what i wanted to talk about was this one because i found this at an auction and um i, I kind of just forgot about it for a while forgot it had it for a while um uh, actually the original box that this came in what this is it's a it's a kirk hammett um student series guitar produced by washburn i knew that the um the the fretboard looked super familiar because I, I love the washburn fretboards um this is not a 24 fret i got a 24 fret back there i love that one um but i i, I had this thing just sitting around and when i first got it there was a large problem whoever had it tuned it three three th three octaves too high i don't know how they did it without snapping the neck or breaking strings but this thing was just like uh, way out of everything and 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 i knew that i was going to just have to let it set before the neck would be okay again and i finally checked again and then was like wow cool the neck is stable and it's uh, straight and you know as as straight as you want it at least it's not you, you, the other way it's a little bit con i mean seriously tiny little bit convex so i i didn't want to mess with the the truss rod again just because i was like oh this is so close I'm, mm. so i i just didn't want to mess with it again so i went through all this stuff and and got the action down pretty low and and uh you know made sure the electronics all worked and it, it, there was this horrible horrible hum and i took it apart and uh, sure enough the ground wire wasn't connected to anything so i soldered that back on and hooked everything back up and it's like oh cool this is like all right then you know no hum and you know, of course you turn it up it's it's three, three single coils it's gonna the 60 cycle hum and all that crap so it's gonna you're gonna have that and and, and but it was quiet uh, besides that and, and sorry for making this so, so long but i got this to where i was like okay great I, I i would be comfortable selling this and i got the gig bag and the gig bag is kirk hammett's you know signature on it so i got the gig bag and the original box it came in and uh, the only thing i don't have is the original tremolo bar but i got a replacement so everything on here is original except for that uh and i went on reverb to see if i could find a comparable one and uh this is a ding right here the one i saw had relicking all along here this one doesn't have it here but uh so i would i would say mine is definitely comparable because his has, has uh, stuff up here that's all you know oh yeah this has got a little bit right here too um so same spot and a little bit right here yep same thing so there's a little bit of that on it uh on there's a lot more on his but and mine's got this little right there but that's it and mine's pretty good and clean and and the words that were in his posting about his guitar were almost exactly like mine i was like this is great guitar and he confirmed you know by washburn i'm like okay cool thanks I, that's what i thought and i had looked in it but i wasn't mm, totally sure and like that's mm, pretty confirming to me if somebody else is going to tell me that so you know good guitars in the first place and his was 212 dollars plus 104 dollars shipping and i was like oh I just wanted to find out what I wanted to sell mine for. 
And I thought 175 because I want 150 for it. So um, I wasn't far off. Uh, uh, there is a market for these things apparently because I it was an auction. It was a Goodwill auction that I found this at and did not pay nearly that much. So um, yeah, man, all this was was basically time letting the letting the neck set back to where it wanted to be and it's good wood so you know you're, you're good on the neck and it still has some play in the and the truss rod so you're good on adjustments for a long time too it just needed to be back where it wanted to be and um it needed a little bit of soldering but i could see where somebody would totally just give up on this thing and say it's a piece of poo and just get, throw it in a corner and that's what I want and I want those guitars so I can make them back into things like this and and you can make players out of them and you can give them a case as beginner guitars and, and have them go from a beginner to even playing gigs with these things because they're stable enough that they can do that um, I, the only thing I would suggest and I'm just leaving this all uh, original um if you were actually going to gig with it i would suggest getting a new uh whole tremolo system here and there but uh besides that it's a, i'd also replace the pickups but you could totally get started with this and totally have fun with this and totally learn and grow um and somebody who would never have a chance to to do that that's i want to see if they you know here you know do you have a talent for this? What do you think? You know, that's kind of what I'd like to do. Anyways, long video for that. Uh, it's Sunday. God's day. Always look up. I'll see y'all, man. Peace.